Yeah. I'm trying to record it for Stauber. It might work. It might work. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome. So, uh, the Jack Tour, every year we do it. Now we do this as a new tradition of ours. Um, but before the Jack Tour even started, I started roasting the seniors back before at standing on Nish's couch. <laughs> yeah, and I sh was shouting stories about how Jay punches from the waist. <laughs> All that. So, you guys don't know. And so, we also have to say who is Jack? There's newbies here, Fritz, so all you guys. That's Jack. He was the head coach. <laughs> if you can notice, he was, the, he was the head coach for my first four years. I was the assistant coach under him. Um, Jack doesn't lose. Let's see. Jack traveled through time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> killed Jay Edgar Hoover. Uh, he knows the location of Barry Gold, and he's the only man in the room who scares us. <laughs> Sorry. Get <laughs> it? <laughs> the only uh, I want to I probably tell the story every year. The only story that I can't tell about Jack is that nationals. Jack doesn't lose, okay? But you hear the stories that he tells, and you think this can't be real. This is not real. And then, uh, like like he tells stories of things that he's done. It's just amazing. You don't believe it. We were at nationals. It was you, Angel. It was Dave's first year. <laughs> Kowalski was there. Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, we just got eliminated from the semifinals. We were done. And me and us were depressed as hell. We, had to, we hate losing. We were just depressed. And everybody wanted to get a beer and drink a little bit. And West Point is the worst town in the world. Like, there's a laundromat and a fried chicken place. And that's it. So we're like, how the hell are we going to get beer? We, like, looked around. Jack was driving the van. We drove around a bunch. Uh, and we just weren't coming up with anything. And it's New York where they sell beer at gas stations. And we just couldn't come up with anything. All of a sudden, Jack just randomly parks the van on the side of the street, without a word, gets out of the van, and disappears. And we're all just, where's he going? We're, I mean, we're nowhere. We're in somebody's neighborhood. And Angel's like, watch this. Jack doesn't lose. And after a few minutes, Jack comes back with a case of beer under his arm. <laughs> <laughs> he's never explained where he got it. <laughs> and we didn't ask. <laughs> That was that was your first year at nationals, yeah. So anyway, all right. So that's Jack. So Jack doesn't lose. He's a, he's a. And don't drink and drive. Yeah. Well, we. Do. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm going to say nice things at the end. I have my last page to say nice things. But until then, the tradition has to stand. I have to I have to trash the seniors a little bit before I leave. It's how we say goodbye. It's how we hide from our feelings by saying mean things about each other. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> so, graduate and go on. I still suck. <laughs> Well, yeah. All right, so let's see. Woody's first. Woody. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we're still... Woody, let's see. I want to make sure. i got to get this for Stauber. I think we're good. Okay. Let's see. Woody, the illustrious hipster. He was a part of a distinguished group of Penn State boxers that never won a fight. Woody lost more fights than Osa's lost court cases. <laughs> <laughs> They say, they say winning isn't everything, and Woody says, I hope not. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Sorry. I do want to have a good thing about Woody in here, so um, I, I was there. Woody tapped out O's once. <laughs> what? Never happened. Never happened. We're naked show. We're naked show. I saw him. Uh, let's see. I loved having Woody around um, for his knowledge. He was a very smart kid. Like, there was a time when I was calling Martinez the prince of the Dominican Republic, and Woody was there to point out that actually Dominican Republic is a unitary representative of Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers it. He remembers it. Wait, that's actually real? That, yeah, that happened. Yeah, yeah you would do that. Let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to too much. We've already busted on Woody's romantic troubles. Is all you know. It's a part of the team lore. Let's just say that. Okay, for this, I'm not good at comedy, so I have to set this one up by saying that Vic is, Vic is Mexican. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm not good at this. So, let's just say that Will stole more girls from Woody than Vic has stolen cars. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 It gets a lot worse. Let's see. All right. So speaking of Mex <laughs> speaking of Mexicans, Martinez is graduating. <laughs> uh, Martinez, three-time All-American, two silver medals. Um, he had a hell of a career, and I have one word of advice for you for your future life: antidepressant. <laughs> Let's see. Dave's mood would swing so wildly it was like Paul trying to land a punch. <laughs> Let's see. Poppier is angrier than John Roy. <laughs> I didn't write anything else for that one. Uh, the, the, the one story that I've been saving for nationals. We were at nationals this year, um, and in the semifinals, Dave was fighting the semifinals against the Brandon Knox kid, the one that, that Saeed fought for. And somewhere in the, in the second round, Dave's headgear came loose a little, and he couldn't see. And he like couldn't decide what to do. He goes, time out, time out, time out. <laughs> And and, um, and also I go, you gotta take a knee. And so he starts to take a knee, and then Brandon Knox hits him, so he just gets back up and <laughs> starts hitting him. Well, you gotta take a knee. So finally he takes a knee. And the ref's counting one, two, because you have to. And, and he's going, he didn't hit me! He didn't hit me! He's like yelling at the ref. <laughs> like, it didn't get the last. It was the funniest thing that happened this year. He was calling timeout. He called timeout. <laughs> he actually, as he, as he tried punching me, because he didn't hit me. Um, <laughs> as he tried punching me, he was like, ain't no time, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew that. I wish I knew that part of the story. That would have been good. All right. Let's see. Sai isn't here, but I promised him I was going to do these anyway. So this is not everyone's going to get this, but <clears throat> I started to write jokes about Saeed, but it got really difficult, so I, uh, there's nothing else written there. <laughs> Where's Saeed? Oh. 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 Saeed may wait like Paul makes sense. <laughs> Saeed can make weight like O's can make bail. <laughs> I can't bust him too much, he's not here. Let's see. No, go ahead. No, no. Hey, we're getting it on camera. Alright, alright. Are you ordering? Alright, so. I guess okay. I don't want to ruin my mind. Let's see, Lee Thompson. Lee Thompson. Lee is really hard to make fun of. He was the backbone of the team. He was there. He always was working. Um, he never once complained. He didn't talk much because we were talking outside of his mouth a little bit. You know, that's Lee. But uh, so I tried to find a way that I could write jokes that Lee would that would speak on Lee's level. So this is a, this is a shot. We'll see. <clears throat> if you drive a purple pickup truck, you might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you dip tobacco during boxing club, you might be a <laughs> Let's see. If you kill more animals in one week than I-80 kills all year, you might be a <laughs> Yeah, all right. Let's see. If Os is scared to be alone with you, you might be a <laughs> If you're from the Philly suburbs and you still carry a hunting knife. <laughs> all right, Lee. All right, that was all right. Let's see. DC is graduating. I don't know how. <laughs> He's a four-year senior that only had three fights in his four years. Uh, sorry, O's. DC skipped practice like O skips parole hearings. <laughs> it's a go-to. <laughs> I think there's like 12 just, more. <laughs> the whole back page is just <laughs> uh, DC came to practice, made it to practice like Saeed made weight. Oh. Uh, I, I, I can keep too many Paul jokes. DC missed more practices than Paul missed punches. <laughs> That's not bad, Iowa. Right. Hannah Thomas. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I had to, I had to, these are, I'm more proud of these ones. These are better. <laughs> Hannah trained hard, she fought hard, she always showed up, she never complained, and she acquired a hell of a drinking habit in her time. <laughs> Let's see. Hannah, it's an honor to be a part of your first 12 steps. <laughs> Hannah's liver is so black and shriveled that Ose calls it grandma. <laughs> that was my best joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I honestly didn't know if he was.
who's gonna actually hit me for that? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I crack a joke, I think he might hit me. <laughs> Let's see. Hannah said that practice was her favorite meeting because she doesn't have to stand up and say, Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm a an alcoholic. <laughs> All right. Speaking of substance abuse, Paul Matisco is graduating. <laughs> Too many side jokes. I don't know, I wasn't. Paul missed punches like Saeed missed weight. That's just a flip, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. I don't even have any That's Paul jokes. I, I have a story that I heard about Paul from somebody, which was said, <laughs> this explains Paul's personality beautifully. Uh, what, was the class, what was the class, Kenny's? It's your story. What was the Kenny's? <laughs> it's your story. Oh, yeah. What was, it, what was the class? What was the class? It was in uh, environmental physics. They're in environmental phys, phys class, whatever that is. And, uh, and the class is quiet, and Paul and Will, and... The teacher comes in the room and four times he goes, does anyone have any questions? And Paul raises his hand and he goes, so tell me about cryogenic freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Just random. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I didn't get that. <laughs> you just have to know Paul. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Let's see. No monster didn't show up. I'm not going to. Let's see. Allie Rowe. Allie Rowe. Allie. Allie Rowe. Allie reminds me of Casey Barnett except for the winning part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody write that for you? No, I wrote it. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, this one's going to hurt. I'm sorry. This one's going to hurt. Don't be upset. Allie recently made Josh Surgeon fall in love with her. Ever, you guys knew that? And she, yeah. Josh Surgeon just fell in love with Allie. Uh, he, <laughs> he fell harder than Strauss falls down my stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right. Allie steals hearts like Vic steals cars. <laughs> 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 Funny every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the go-to. You're right. All right. Let's see. Okay, Betty. Betty. G Betty the Ginger Warrior. Betty. I was asked not to write any jokes about Betty's love life. This affirms that herpes is no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> It's not okay. All right, let's see. <sighs> Betty's career involved a lot of long battles won and lost. She had victory and heartbreak and long struggles and defeats, all for Will's attention. So Betty claims she doesn't cry, but we actually saw her crying in practice many times. Who knew that you could be so emotional and have no soul? It's a ginger joke. It's a ginger joke. It's a ginger joke. All right, let's see. Betty would, Betty would cry so hard at practice sometimes it was like O's hearing the phrase "not guilty." <laughs> He didn't hit me. <laughs> Betty's love life is as emotionally healthy as John Roy's general demeanor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, let's see. Alright, 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 alright. So let's see. Betty did have some great fights in her time. Her greatest rival was actually Corey over Will's attention. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's do Will. So the last has to be the president, Will Morrill. Let's see. So, if you spend any time with Will, he inevitably starts talking about how women are crazy. That's just like his go-to backup. Like, he'll, he just, he goes on about how women pine after him and how crazy they are and these stupid things they do chasing him. Like, call, like, what Will doesn't realize is that he does that to women. Like, like Wait a minute, he does that to half the guys in <laughs> So I'm, so look at Will. He's six foot three. He's good looking. He's athletic. He's ambitious. He's intelligent. He's sharp. Of, of course, like, of course, of course, he turned Corey gay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Will and Corey spend more time naked together than John Roy spends naked and angry. <laughs> Let's play a game called Which is Larger? <laughs> the number of girls that Will has hooked up with or the number of guys he's turned gay? <laughs> right, Strauss <Whoa>. and Corey? <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. When Will had a girl, when Phil finally had a girlfriend who was here, I couldn't tell who was more jealous, Betty or Corey? <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, Corey, but Will was only using you for clean urine. <laughs> I've overkill these. I wrote too many of these. Next year, there will be a huge hole in the team where Will is missing. Strauss and Corey will need a pitcher. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I'm such an asshole. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. The only last thing is, uh, let's see. So, yeah, joking about whether Will is bisexual or not. It was like, you know, yeah, is he, is he not? It's hard to tell. Uh, one time we were, we were talking. Did you ask Corey? And we were talking about, uh, I forget why, but he brought up the movie Labyrinth. You guys know that one? Oh, yeah. And I thought, I thought to myself, oh, yeah, that movie with Jennifer Connelly. She's so hot. And Will's first sentence is, oh, that movie with David Bowie. <laughs> Let's see, so... Will contributed a ton to the team. Substance abuse, nudity, violence, womanizing, and that was just babysitting Strauss. <laughs> Alright, that's all. I'm out of now it's this nice thing. I'm out of jokes. Now Betty has to give a response. She claims she would. So, uh, <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna shut up and I'll say nice things after Betty's done trashing me. Yay.